Today I want to talk to you guys about SharkBite, the new digital FPV system that is coming from Fat Shark. Now if you don't know what this is, it's going to be a digital HD FPV system designed to be used with Fat Shark's own goggles, but it will actually work with any goggles with a HDMI input. Now Fat Shark have released an update on the progress of this system today, and I'm just going to walk you guys through that, give you just an update on where it's at, because it won't be too long now before this product ends up in the hands of beta testers, but then actually be available for sale. Now, if you've been following this, you might be aware that there was an original system called Bite Frost. It really was a early release beta product, and they sent it out to people, and some people bought it, and the idea was for people to give their feedback on it. Fat Shark have taken that on board and they've made a lot of changes and moved that into this new system called Shark Bite. The new system has some big improvements over the original one and that is as follows. There is an all new digital HD FPV camera. Bite Frost was actually using an analog HD camera to connect it to the transmitter or the VTX. However, Fat Shark have gone back to using a proper all new design digital camera with this model. There is then an all new designed VTX. This is smaller than what we saw on Bite Frost and overall has had a number of improvements. Finally, you then have the receiver and this has changed from being a display with built in antennas to a small module that mounts on the front of the goggles. Now, when I say small, you do need to take that into context because it is something that does bolt onto the front it has built-in antennas and it has a HDMI output as well. It is not as small as a traditional analog module that we have had on these goggles before, but it is small compared to the display unit that they released last time. Now, they've given us a bit of an update on what the progress is, and the reality is this. As of today, they have pretty much sorted the design of the receiver module that's designed to go on the goggles and the new digital HD camera. The design and the finished product for that is pretty much in place and they say that they are happy with the production and how that is going. They do say though that there has been some issues with regards to the VTX and this has actually been played out by some of the early reviewers who got access to it. One or two DOA units and just some traditional issues that you get on early production runs. Nothing specific, just the kind of problems everyone gets when they are releasing a new product. So what they are saying today is that they are hoping to get early units into the hands of early users in October. They've announced that actual Bite Frost purchasers will have the ability to buy the new Shark Bite system at a steep discount. What that discount actually is, no one knows, but they have openly said that it is going to be available to Bite Frost users first before everyone else. Then, as that gets progressed further and people continue to provide feedback and really the design of the VTX gets improved and the firmware gets improved, they will then move it towards full production. Now, Bite Frost and Shark Bite are a equivalent or competing system compared to the DJI Digital FPV system. The systems are quite different though in the way they work. For instance, the DJI system uses more of a traditional compression type of signal, whereas the Shark Bite system and the Shark Bite and Bite Frost were using more of an uncompressed digital FPV system. And the big differences between them is Shark Bite has fixed latency, whereas DJI has variable latency and then you have the differences in the way the two signals break up. DJI is more of a traditional digital blocking effect, whereas SharkBite tends to break down its image into little dots, more like how analog breaks up when that signal failed. And whilst it isn't quite the same, it is very similar. And whilst they are two competing systems, they do have two very different use cases, really, because the Fat Shark system is designed to be used with Fat Shark goggles. The new receiver module is designed to bolt on the front of the goggles and connect directly in via HDMI, whereas DJI system, you do have to purchase new goggles, which are the digital FPV goggles, the receivers and everything else. So what Fat Shark are trying to do here is provide a modular system that for users with say HDO2s already will be able to simply purchase the module 
bolt it onto the goggles, get a VTX and camera and be ready to go. So that is pretty much the situation as it is today. The units should be heading into early users' hands in October. There is a review on the SharkBite system already, or what I should really call an overview because it isn't a full-scale review and they're giving you an early look at it. It is interesting that they say that the VTX is a little bit behind compared to, say, the goggles module and the camera, but that is just the way product design goes and it is nothing I would personally be really worried about. Hopefully, I'm going to try and get my hands on this new system when it finally does become available. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to get myself a set of goggles and the system as well, and I'll be really interested in trying this. And if you really break this down, whilst this is Fat Shark trying to compete with DJI, they are actually two very different use cases. And whilst we've seen DJI bring many updates on the new digital FPV system, we've now got this fantastic seven kilometers plus range and the new 50 megabits of mode as well, SharkBite are looking to provide a system that might be better for out and out races. A smaller, lighter ear unit, Downside to that, though, is that there is no DVR on board on the ear unit side, but you can record on the goggle side or on the receiver. But one thing I will say on that, though, the Fat Shark recording is not at the same level of quality that I've seen that we're seeing from the DJI system. But if you are looking for a system that is all out designed to work with Fat Shark goggles, or you want to be able to use it with your existing goggles with HDMI input, and you're after something with a very low fixed latency and a smaller ear unit, the SharkBite system might be the one for you. Today, there is no idea on pricing on this. We have no idea at the price of the modules or the goggles end. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. Hopefully in October, a bit more information will be released as you see the early adopters of Bite Frost get their hands on it and actually then share that with everyone as well. That's it for this video. I hope the update has been useful. If you have found it useful, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell as well. This is my main channel where I do put out content. I also go live on my new second channel on a Sunday night UK time, 10 p.m., which is about 5 p.m. Eastern. That is a separate channel that I use for live streams. There is a link to that one in the description of this video as well. Please do check out that one and hit the subscribe button there too. And that is pretty much it for this one. When there is more news, I will put out another video and hopefully when we get some more content on Sharkbite, I will share that with you guys as well.